In this video, I'm going to show you an audible trick that is not only going to allow you to get better personnel on the field, but it's also going to allow you to be able to send some significant backside edge pressure out of the nickel triple formation. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my YouTube channel, make sure to click that subscribe button and be sure to turn on those notifications. That way you don't miss any of these important videos. Now guys, we are in the nickel two, four, five odd. We're also going to be audibly into the nickel triple formation. And the beauty of this package is this is in the Chicago playbook. This is going to allow us to have a lot of flexibility, a lot of different possibilities of pressure concepts that we can basically build between the 245 odd and the nickel triple. So if you want to get my nickel 245 odd or my nickel triple defensive ebook, I've got defensive guides out often on both formations and you can combine them. The best way to run them in my personal opinion is to combine them to create a crazy effective defense. So if you want to get access to either my 245 odd guide or my nickel triple guide, I'm going to put a link to both of them down in the description video and you can get both guides for just 15 bucks. Okay guys, so what we're gonna be doing uh, in this video is we're gonna come out in the nickel two, four, five odd. And what we're gonna do is we are simply going to sub in the safeties at the linebacker position. It's gonna give us some additional speed. And then we're gonna put our fast guy, Isaiah Simmons on the outside. Then from there, as you can see, we're gonna put linebackers on the inside. And then what's gonna allow us to put JJ Watt at the nose tackle. Now for our nickel triple, we can pretty much just run with a Tampa two or the cover six. Those are my two favorite plays out of this formation. So we can just audible into either one of those plays. Now what we're gonna do and how this is gonna work is we're gonna come out in either the Sam Mike three press or the Sam Mike one. I personally prefer to come out in the Sam Mike three press. I think it's one of the best plays in the game. So we come out in the Sam Mike three press and what we're gonna do is we're gonna audible one quick click over to the nickel triple. And what you're gonna see is this is gonna bring this guy over here, but it's going to keep Isaiah Simmons on the backside. What this has basically just done is it created nickel triple bear to the right and then two, four, five odd to the left. What I mean by that is if we simply blitz this linebacker off of the edge and we're gonna go ahead and QB contain, I want you to take a look at this angle. Now, if we move this guy in just a step, you're going to see here that it's going to create an incredible blitz angle that we're going to be able to leverage for easy pressure. As you're going to see, this guy is going to absolutely scream off the edge at the quarterback. This is where the nickel triple, in my personal opinion, and when you combine this with the 245 odd, can become absolutely incredible. So again, we're going to audible to the nickel triple, and then all we're going to do is we're going to globally blitz our linebacker straight down. And then from there, all you're going to do is you're going to QB contain, and then you're just going to slide this guy in just a step. And that slide is all it's going to take, and then you're going to stand kind of right in here with your user, and at the snap of the ball, you're going to notice that we're going to get absolutely incredible, incredible edge pressure. Now, let's take this a step further and see how many people we can drop as a result. So for example, again, I'm just gonna blitz this guy. Now I do wanna show one little thing here. You'll see if I move this guy in, it doesn't necessarily make his blitz angle that of the 335 odd. Unfortunately, I wish it did. If it did, that would make this absolutely lethal. It just doesn't. And as you can see, I can't get him in that blitz angle. But what I can do is I can get this contain angle. So I can certainly drop this backside guy who just so happens to be a cornerback or a safety off that edge and as you can see here let me redo that because we got a bad alignment i move people around but you'll be able to see here that we're going to be able to send some significant edge pressure with really not doing anything whatsoever so as you see here i audible over to the nickel triple now let me back up here one more second here and i'm going to show you this one more time so again you want to come out in the sam mike three press and then all we're gonna do, I'm gonna audible over to the Tampa two. You see that that linebacker on the left side, he does not move. That's the important piece. So we're gonna blitz him and we're just gonna click him inside one step, just like that, just one little step inside. That's all we're gonna do. And then on the backside now, we can just basically drop that guy on the backside. The beauty of this is we could drop him into, you know, linebacker coverages. As you can see, we're only sending four people at the line of scrimmage. And at the snap of the ball, you're gonna see, we're gonna get some nice base rush angles that are gonna make this absolutely an incredible, incredible defense. The beauty of this formation is found in the fact that we can go from the Sam Mike three press one defense 
as as we see and we've talked about before here on the channel how good this is and in the 245 odd guy we share how good that is as well and then we with one little click we can be in the cover six and now what we can do is simply blitz that linebacker off the edge if you don't QB contain, let me just show you what happens. You're going to see he's going to slant inside just like that. It does kind of mess up the blitz angles. Okay, so just so you're under, you're aware, it does kind of mess the blitz angles up. But let's say we go to a nickel blitz. Same thing. You see here I have this this these pressures concepts here on the backside. Now what I can do is I can contain this, and then I can just move this guy just one click in. Now from there... I can use or anyone. I could show blitz and create this front right here. And now what you'll see is you'll see how we can create some incredible pressure as a result of that just one little adjustment. The same thing, but the best way to run this, in my personal opinion, is just to simply blitz the linebacker off the edge. If you show blitz, you'll see that it's going to bring this guy down in the box. And then you can just kind of slide this guy in manually, come down here with your user, and at the snap of the ball, you're going to see that we're going to be able to have just a nice little five-man rush that is just going to get really good edge pressure. Now, really important, what you want to do with your user is you want to be using the middle linebacker. Uh, and I'll show you that real quick. So you want to be using uh, Thompson. And then when we blitz this guy off the edge, we're just going to contain, slide this guy in, and then we're going to use this guy right in this area. And what you're going to see is at the snap of the ball, you're going to get that nice little slip angle, and we're going to get absolutely incredible pressure at the quarterback. So this is a great little concept, in my personal opinion, out of this out of this defense because it's really simple. You're just kind of basically creating two four five odd out of three three five or out of the nickel triple. And to be honest with you, the pressure is super super glitchy and it's super effective. It's a simple five band blitz, but I really like creating this out of the two four five odd. Now, if he ever goes down, as you see right there, what you can easily do is you can just blitz him and then just manually slide him to the outside just like this. Now you see he's outside. I'm gonna stand right here. And as you see, the two man pressure concept is absolutely insane. I wanna thank you for watching this video. And like I said, if you wanna get my complete nickel 245 odd defensive ebook, or if you wanna get my complete nickel triple defensive ebook, there are links to both of those guides down in the description. Each of them are on sale for just 15 bucks. Again, that's a super affordable defensive ebook in my personal opinion. And, and I really believe that if you get these guides, they are certainly going to help you have a lot more fun on Madden. They're going to help you send a lot more pressure uh, in this game, and I believe they're going to help you get a lot more uh, consistency out of your defense. Thanks for watching the video, and if you want to get the defensive guides, there are links in the description. You just go down to the description, click on the link that you need, and it will take you right to the website where we can get you all squared away.